For this problem, we have 1.3372 times 12. Now, if you want to start off this question, we can do an estimation. So we start with our decimal number, which in this case is 1.3372, and we take this number and we round up and down. Rounding down gives us 1, and then rounding up gives us 2. Now we take our rounded down number, which is 1, and our rounded up number, which is 2, and we multiply it by 12. So 1 times 12 gives us 12, and then 2 times 12 gives us 24. That means our answer should be anywhere between 12 to 24. Again, this estimation is just um, to help you see whether or not your final answer is going to be accurate or not, and you don't actually have to do it to do your calculations. But now let's get to our calculations. We start with our decimal number on top. So 1.3372 multiplied by 12. Now in this case, we have two digits on the bottom and five digits on top. So that means we first have to start off with our two on the bottom, multiplying it by every digit on the numerator, ignoring the decimal. So we start with two times two, which is four, two times seven, which is 14. So we bring the four down and carry the one. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, 2 times 3 is 6, and then finally 2 times 1 gives us 2. Now we are done with this 2. And because we're done with this 2, we're also done with this 1 up top. So now we move on to our next digit, 1, and we want to multiply this 1 by every digit on top. But first, because we're dealing with the next digit, we have to bring a 0 down below here. Now we can carry on with the calculations. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 3 again is 3, and then 1 times 1 is 1. So now that we have all these numbers on the bottom, we can add them together to get our final answer without the decimal. 4 plus 0 gives us 4, 4 plus 2 gives us 6, 7 plus 7 gives us 14, carry the 1, 6 plus 3 gives us 9, plus the one gives us 10, two plus three gives us five, plus one gives us six, and then nothing plus one gives us one. So now we have to deal with our decimal. In our original answer, we have four digits behind our decimal. So that means in our final answer, we're going to have four digits behind our decimal. So one, two, three, four. That means our decimal is gonna be right after our 16. So our final answer is 16.046. Now we can ask ourselves, does this answer make sense? And yes, it does, because 16.0464 is greater than 12, but less than 24. So this is our final answer.